George, thanks for talking. Obviously, a good draw today against Forest Green. What was your opinion on the game? Yeah, I think um, as as a nil-nil goes, it's probably quite an entertaining one. I mean, the pitch the pitch don't help, but I think there was plenty of chances both ends. Um, you know, yeah, it was it was a good game. It was quite an enjoyable game to play in, to be honest. Uh, we didn't quite get going first half, but thought uh, there was a spell of 20, 20, 30 minutes in the second half where we was on top of them. Um, they still had a, f a fair few chances, but I think I think you earn your luck at the end of the day. And the lads were throwing their bodies in front of the goal, and Glenn, Glenn made a few really good saves. You know, that's, that's football at the end of the day, and, and it was a well earned draw, I think. I think it was one of the most entertaining nil nils I've ever seen. I mean, the gaffer mentioned that the wind obviously came into play as well, but you and the, the rest of the defenders really dealt with it well today. Yeah, yeah, it was tough. Like the, the conditions are tough. You know, uh, the pitches not not just our pitch. Like every pitch has been pretty challenging this season, especially second half of the second half of the um, season. Um, but yeah, we. We dug, we dug in, you know. There's plenty of really good blocks going in, and, and good defending, and, and good saves from Cat. That's what it's all about. At the end of the day, you know. Like some people might say, we were lucky to not concede a goal, but you know, you, you earn your luck definitely. Great to see yourself back out there as well. Obviously, at, back at right back, and some really good combination play going forward. I thought with the likes of Sam Matthews. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I think me and Sam have got really good chemistry. Um, uh, our partnerships um, been been an enjoyable one this season. Whenever we've played together, we were sort of on the same wavelength and play one twos and and stuff like that. So that yeah, it was enjoyable to link up with Sam. Um, and yeah, uh, it's good to be back out there and, and hopefully we get a couple more positive results for last last to give the fans something to look forward to next season to come back to. You know, we want to finish as high as high as we can and and we build on that next season. And as part of obviously the back line we've got, it must be a joy to work with the likes of Jordan Tunnicliffe and Joe Mack, who just throw themselves at everything and made some unbelievable blocks today. Yeah, yeah, you know, they've, you know, everyone's played their part this season. Everyone's played plenty of games. It's been a tough, tough season. Everyone, you know, we've we've had bad games as a group and uh, really good games as a group. We win and we lose together. Um, but yeah, you know, they, they were brilliant again today. Like I said um, just a minute ago, you know, blocks from Joe, Tony, um, Tunny great saves from Cat and that's, that's what all goes into a clean sheet at the end of the day. Yeah, another clean sheet earned. I think the gaffer was happy with that and two more games now to try and earn some more. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, like I just said, we, we want to finish with pride. We don't want to, uh, you know, it's disappointing on Tuesday night to sort of um, come up short, if you like, in terms of getting into playoffs. We are really disappointed as a group that we have, haven't been able to fulfil that this season. But, you know, if we, if we go on and pick up another four, six points, something like that in the next two games, then, then I think we can look back and say that's, that's been a, a solid season um, compared to some of the last few. Yeah. Cheers, George. Thank you. Cheers, fellas.